Global Curves. Global Curves can be found here. What a curve is, it tells the Diddy how quickly to go from soft to loud when you play from soft to loud on your pad. Because there are so many pad types in the Diddy, we decided to make a curve that's unique to each of the pad types. So there are many, many, many curves built into the instrument that match the trigger that you're plugged into. But if you don't like what we did, you can make your own curve. And there's five of them. And this is how this works. So let's say we're working on curve number one. You'll notice that there is a value, zero, and to the right, there's a number. The value represents plots on the graph. The zero being the softest part, and 15, which is the 16th, the 16th point on the graph. The numbers to the right is the actual MIDI velocity number. So it's not something that you can't grasp. It's an actual MIDI velocity that's coming out of the instrument when you're striking. And this is how it works. You take the Diddy and you plug it into a computer. Using a Mac, you would use MIDI monitor. Using a PC, you would use MIDI aux. And you start playing on the pad. So you're playing very, very soft. You're getting a velocity of two. You start getting a little louder. You see it jump up to the nine and then it goes up a little higher. But let's say I'm at this five, and all of a sudden you're noticing that as I'm hitting the pad, the sound isn't getting any louder. So that's when you'd want to boost the MIDI velocity, and now you can raise it so that as you go from this point to this point, you can feel the volume change with you. And this is how you create your own 16-point curve. It's like no other curve building system on any controller. It's a really fantastic tool to use when you really want to tailor in your own response to a pad.